All right, guys, so here's another project I got myself into. Uh, so I had seen on the good old YouTube and on Pinterest where people have been doing uh, stove top covers. And I said, well, why the heck not? Why can't I do it? And my wife. So I'm going to show you the steps that we took to uh, go from this to... So what I'm going to be measuring is from this little gray line all the way to over here in which this measures 28 inches. Uh, I'm sorry, this measures 20 inches and a half from here to here and 28 inches wide. So I'm going to show you the steps that we took and uh, yeah, so stay tuned. All right, so I got three one by six by six. I'm gonna cut these up into 28 inches. Uh, stay tuned. Now that I got them all laid out, it's time to measure from here to here. My measurement, it was 20 and a half. So I'm gonna cut one for this side and one for this side. All right, so now that I got them all cut up, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put some glue on these and uh, staple them with some brad nails. Uh, here you go. So. Some glue, brad nails, and that's it. Stay tuned. All right, now that it's all sanded up, down, uh, I'm gonna have the wife uh, stain it to her preference, her choice. So uh, stay tuned. The next part we're gonna do is uh, my wife cut out uh, did this thing off of the Cricut machine so we're just gonna uh, well she's gonna do it so uh, this is what she did some handles on the sides so we're gonna try to put them out evenly so we're gonna get our our drill make the holes from the bottom to the top put these screws in so it can be nice and steady and firm when we lift it up all right stay tuned So there you have it, a stove cover. We had a little bit of hiccups, but none that we couldn't handle, courtesy of the wife. Boom.
this is not witchcraft. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Uh, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more projects similar to this. I appreciate y'all. Thank you for your time. Have a good one.